In this video, we will provide a brief summary about the Americans with Disabilities Act, the ADA, and how it impacts the work of local health departments. So what is it? It's a civil rights law that was passed in the 90s to protect people with disabilities from discrimination. It applies to many aspects of life, including employment, access to state and local government services like health departments or libraries, public services operated by private entities like doctors' offices, stores, or hotels, telecommunications to support people with hearing or speech impairments, and more. Let's step inside this health department to talk more about how the ADA impacts services there. As local health departments are providing services and activities for their communities, the most obvious impact of the ADA is to find ways to include people with disabilities into those services. Perhaps one often overlooked aspect of the ADA is providing access to employment for people with disabilities at the health department. It's important to include people with disabilities in all aspects of a health department, since we also know it is important to reflect the diversity of a community in the staff of a community program. So what does the ADA require? Title I of the ADA protects people with disabilities from discrimination across all employment processes in state and local government employers. That includes hiring, orientation, and providing accommodations for that person to be able to do the job. It limits what the employer can ask about the employee's disability, which is their confidential medical information. It protects employees from harassment, unfair treatment or policies, failure to provide reasonable accommodations, and other things. Now back to our health department. While Title I of the ADA protects employees with disabilities, Title II provides security that people with disabilities will be included in the services and activities provided by public entities such as the health department. Let's break it down. According to Title II of the ADA, People with disabilities must have an equal opportunity to participate in public entity programs, services, and activities in the most integrated manner appropriate. What does this mean for a health department? It means that people with disabilities should be included to access the same programs, services, and activities that are open to the general public, as is appropriate. Health departments must ensure that people with disabilities are not excluded because facilities are inaccessible. There is no grandfather clause that exempts old facilities. Program services and activities, when viewed in their entirety, must be readily accessible to and usable by people with disabilities. Ensuring facility accessibility may require altering or constructing new facilities or other creative methods such as making non-structural changes like adding a ramp or handrails or using alternative accessible locations. Many people with disabilities are prevented from participating fully in programs because of communication difficulties. To address this, the ADA requires that communication with people with disabilities must be as effective as communication with others. Generally, this part of the regulation applies to people who are deaf, hard of hearing, blind, people with low vision, or who have speech disabilities. Some examples of communication services include qualified interpreters on site or through video, written materials, and real-time computer-aided transcription services, or CART. Integrating people with disabilities into public health programs is simple. The ADA states, the most integrated setting is one that enables individuals with disabilities to interact with non-disabled persons to the fullest extent possible. Providing accommodations for people with disabilities to be able to join into activities or services with non-disabled people is the best way. That isn't to say that you can't also provide activities or services that are specifically for people with disabilities. However, you cannot keep people with disabilities from participating in the programs for the general public. Lastly, online information programs and services must be accessible. That means ensuring the information can be accessed by people who may surf the internet differently than you. For example, if someone is accessing your website using a screen reader, it's important that images have alt text for the screen reader to read aloud to the user. It's also important to make sure the colors you use provide sufficient contrast to allow people with vision impairments to easily read or view the information. 
Online accessibility applies to websites, social media content, and online documents. Titles 1 and 2 of the ADA promote inclusion of people with disabilities. An inclusive environment starts with the actions and attitudes of the individuals who are already in that environment. Your job as insiders is to make everyone feel like an insider. What will you do to make people with disabilities feel that they belong in your health department? Thanks for watching.